Welcome back. Thanks a lot for staying with Plain Speak. You're joining us live from our CNN News 18 and Federal Bank Primetime Studio. A 50-year-old Karnataka government employee of a tribal development corporation allegedly committed suicide at his home in Karnataka's Shivmoga on Sunday and his death has triggered a political fight in the state with the opposition BJP now asking the government to sack the scheduled tribe's welfare minister B. Nagendran. BJP leaders protested outside Chief Minister Sudaramaya's residence even as two top officials mentioned in the suicide note have been suspended. Congress maintains that the Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister are taking this matter seriously. So what is the political slugfest all about? Take a look at the allegations that have been made by the official from the Tribal Development Corporation in his alleged suicide note that have triggered the honest nest. Now, Chandrasekharan uh, Chandra P stated that he was asked to open sweep-in, sweep-out accounts that allowed customers to transfer funds between savings and current accounts and link fixed deposit accounts at a bank branch on MG Road in Bengaluru. His allegation is that a minister and an official of the corporation asked him to do so. And he further alleges that 85 crores of the 187.3 crore corporation grant was transferred to other accounts. Therefore, the charge is that already 85 crore rupees have been allegedly looted and nobody really knows if it stopped at just that. So the big question we're asking today is with this suicide, is it just the tip of the iceberg of a massive scam? And will the corruption charge be probed, not just of abetment to suicide, as also would be the case here? Fire. It is not clearly mentioned. The names of the minister or the chief minister is not been mentioned. It is been clearly mentioned in the suicide note that the abatement happened because of them. Let's go across to our guest joining us, Bhaskar Rao, spokesperson of Karnataka BGP. Also, former ADGP Karnataka is joining us. B.S. Arun is senior journalist. And also, Syed Asad Abbas is political analyst, backs the Karnataka government joining us on the show. The Congress declined to be on the debate. But I do want to go across to Bhaskar Rao first. Are you not satisfied with the action that the government has taken so far? And if so, why not? See, whatever action government has taken now is only uh, paperwork. You have to see that there are two major ills in governance is concerned. The first is to absolutely brazen disregard for financial property. That is number one. Hmm. Number two, this is a, become an era of uh, oral orders, no written orders are concerned. Hmm. When a couple of chairs and tables have to be purchased in a particular government department, the concerned minister and the, the topmost people swoop down like uh, eagles to extract their commission. How can the minister? say that he is not aware of 85 crores having been transferred and amounts having been transferred upon them. So now the uh, unfortunate uh, Chandrasekharan has uh, sacrificed himself because there is no way in which such a huge amount can be recovered. If we really see what the money trail is over there, money gets transferred from one bank or one branch of uh, uh, Union Bank of India to other branch of there, and from there it moves over to several other branches. And what we have been maintaining in BJP that the Karnataka Congress party has been an ATM. Means take out money left, right and center and send it here and there. Nagendra being a very ordinary minister with not much of political backing. For the sake of he can be easily be sacrificed. To protesting against this minister, we are protesting that the honorable chief minister himself was in the knowledge of things. And Karnataka has over 75 public sector corporations. God knows from where all, how much of money has been transferred left, right and center. Only a white paper on that can tell us how money has been removed. Because the finance department comes directly under the chief minister. The CM also has a vicarious responsibility. Mm -hmm. Here the uh, 
I mean, uh, the Nagendra Devi or a minister cannot plead uh, uh, ignorance that I was not aware of it. And so, then far, the so far, there's been no action on the minister. I don't think there's even a probe as far as the corruption element is concerned. They will not do it, uh, Shivan. They will not do it because now, in any case, after the elections, they are going to have a reshuffle and they are going to remove this fellow. So now, waiting for a crore is gone, minister also gone, and uh, things will start going one after the other. And uh, this subject will be soon forgotten. And tomorrow, uh, today night, Prajwal Revarna is going to come, and uh, in a couple of days, we, you have the uh, uh, exit polls and then the poll results coming in. So all efforts are being made to time this in, sufficient, in, in such a way that this should be absolutely forgotten. In fact, this is something in which the Honorable Chief Minister himself should own the responsibility. Because such a huge amount of money hmm. goes into some uh, um, uh, unknown and uh, absolutely unheard of accounts over there. The, uh, the, see, every corporation is supervised by a department. And the department, the department is supervised by an IS officer in the government. Mm -hmm. None of these people are aware that such a amount okay, of money... Does that sound out. believable or is this just tip of the iceberg no, of a massive you, actually, scam? Actually, this is a era... See, this is an era of uh, oral orders. Now, yeah. this poor fellow Chandrasekhar has become a victim of the minister because the MD is uh, pretending that he's not aware. And then the branch... And another thing that you have, keep it, have to keep in mind is the greed of the commercial banks at the end of March. They want to show maximum amount of uh, funds because their own brownie points are at stake. Okay? Right. No, but so I, see, I, I see a very clear prima facie case here where uh, there are funds that have been taken from what is corporation money and grant and they've gone somewhere with no accountability. And uh, while there may be political allegations of where that money has gone and how it was used, for example, BJP has alleged that some of this money was used in Telangana elections, even if that doesn't exist, I'll tell you. One second, sir. One second. Even if that does not exist, or we, you know, even if that's not the peg, but the issue is that that corporation money has been siphoned off. I want to bring in Sayyid Asad Abbas. Why is it that the government is not the first one to say that we are shocked by this and we are going to order a probe? And while that probe is going on, this minister has to sit out. I'm uh, absolutely certain in the near days to come, uh, Sri Sidramaya Ji, the Honorable Chief Minister, also. The Deputy Chief Minister Shri D.K. Shivkumar will definitely make a statement on this front. As a matter of fact, what has happened is absolutely unfair. It's very unfortunate. I always believe that corruption in any form must and should be negated. Also, you know, Bhaskar Rauji is a dear friend of mine. As a matter of fact, he's been a former police commissioner mm -hmm. here in the state of Karnataka. Respected sir, all I'd like to tell you is kindly have faith in the Karnataka police. It is the same police which served under you as the commissioner. Let us have faith. There is also a CID investigation. Criminal investigation department is looking into the case. Not just that, there are two officers who are already suspended on this front. Also, FIR has been lodged against all of them mentioned there. So therefore, I would definitely see that the justice will be brought in and certainly those who are found to be corrupt action will be taken. As a matter of fact, we need to understand that the Congress government here in Karnataka came on the front of the 40% Sarkara, Brash Sarkara. Precisely, of the precisely. Party. But there yes, have been these yes, ATM Manji. charges yeah, against the Karnataka yes, government yes, as well, yes, the Congress government as well. Yes. And this seems to be the prime example of how funds meant for the ordinary citizen are being siphoned off. There are officials who don't want to do this, who are being pressurized to do this, who have now committed a, a suicide just because they couldn't money take meant for a the guilt also, of Shivani, having to yes, transfer like to that money. You, what yes, is the you, moral responsibility the, of the minister concerned? He should have resigned by now. I think, I think the moral responsibility of the minister will be to completely cooperate with the investigation. But resign case. first. Uh, no, you can't be minister the, investigating your own ministry and actions. Not the minister. The police, the police of course, will also uh, investigate on the same front. But also, let me remind my dear friend of the BJP, Mr. Bhaskar Rao, respected sir, there was a road contractor who did suicide, sir, but your party didn't do anything about it. K. Singhshwara yeah, Park continued yeah, to be a minister. Yeah, sure. So, sir, you allow me, this allow me to complete this point. Very important point, Shivani. Sure. No, sure. I, get point. Point. Sayad, I get your point. Sayed, I get your point. But I also remember stories from way back in 2016 when again it was the Congress in power where police officials committed suicide. Uh, because they were being harassed by Double government answer, officials. Sure. So, you know, I don't want to go back into this. There are That's actually multiple such yeah, examples uh, in Karnataka the and uh, they don't look very good either on the B uh, yes, BJP or yes. the Congress. I want to bring in... 
I want to bring in Arunji as well. Arunji, this is seeming like the tip of the iceberg, like the quintessential tip of the iceberg as far as a corruption case is concerned. Yes, uh, yes, Shivani. This uh, this is a very unfortunate incident, uh, which led to a shocking uh, suicide uh, by an official. Karnataka government must must should be doing much more than what what it has done already. Hmm. A, a statement from the chief minister is expected, and a statement on what they are going to do. Already, of course, two officials have been suspended. Hmm. CID probe has been ordered, but there is much more to do. What will you do with the uh, minister? Uh, is he uh, are, are they going to ask the minister for an explanation? Of course, he has held a press conference and uh, explained his, his uh, side of the story. But I think that's that's not enough. The chief minister has to make a statement and possibly, perhaps, uh, uh, a judicial inquiry uh, headed by a retired ju judge, I think, has to be ordered. Because, uh, you know, in these uh, these have already taken a political turn and Karnataka government is not going to seek a CBI inquiry, which the BJP has demanded. So at least uh, the... Inquiry by uh, by a judge, so I think. Uh, judicial inquiry will only lead to now. Waste of time. Okay. Waste of time. Mr. Loss of money. Yes, so what Mr. else? Rao. What else can be done? See, Karnataka government is not going to order a CBI inquiry. Yes, Mr. Rao. So, when, when recovered, minister should be sacked. The money trail is not. It is not difficult to locate the money trail hmm. from one branch, which are which branches it has gone, and so who has encashed that money? They have to be located and money has to be either recovered or they have to be arrested. Hmm. And this minister has to resign. Then only government will be showing its commitment, merely issuing a statement or, as sir pointed out, the judicial inquiry. The government wants a judicial inquiry so that it can buy time on that. There should be no waste sure. of time. Money is precious. And that money is meant for the development of scheduled tribes. Look at the brazen way in it has been. Right. B.S. Arun, yes, please come in. Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah similar case. <laughs> When BJP was in power and a uh, civil contractor, a uh, government contractor committed suicide, uh, that was in uh, Belgaum. And, the, and he named a minister Ishwarappa. And Ishwarappa uh, soon after resigned because Congress uh, you know, took out a dharna and uh, dem demanded, made serious charges against him and he resigned. And uh, just two days back, we have seen uh, uh, Ishwarappa demanding uh, the minister's re resignation and the Karnataka government to make a statement on this. So mm -hmm. there is a precedence of a near similar case, you know, like uh, like what has happened now. Uh, a person, uh, a contractor committed suicide and he, uh, the BJP government uh, took the resignation of uh, the minister yeah. concerned. Sayed, you want to respond to that? Yeah. Can I just say, Absolutely. that was still a bribery case, right? The alleged bribery case or cut case. This is a case yeah, of corruption. Because this is a case more, of corruption. This is even so worse is in the sense that Shoji. the minister's responsibility is greater because funds under his watch are being siphoned off allegedly. Sayed. Shivaniji, as a matter of fact, you know, the road contractor also mentioned the way he was harassed by the minister. Fair enough, case fair enough. I'm just yes. saying that in this the case, this is I'm not about harassment or corruption or, 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 or bribery. Or... It's about corruption in the department. Shivaniji, it's... Like I said earlier, this is absolutely condemnable. Undoubtedly, this incident is very unfortunate. As a matter of fact, let me agree with you on the point that you've made. Also, B.S. Arunji made a very strong point. But I'm absolutely uh, flabbergasted today with the duplicity and hypocrisy of the BJP. When it happens under their rule, it's okay. It's absolutely fine. But when Congress does it the same, Action you make it so political. Now. Respected sir, allow the now. police to do, allow the police to investigate uh, Mr. Bhaskar Rao. More, You've been a commissioner, sir, so you understand it better. In there is a criminal investigation department who is there, sir. Your so let us not, like you said, aware. let us not waste time. Let us go to the root of this corruption, of this crime, Shivani, and fight it, sir. My is question is, why the moral this high grounds down? Why didn't you, the BJP government, ask for a resignation of, of KSC Shorappa? So when you're in BJP, you ask for resign, Congress. Not just but when in uh, BJP, you don't. Respect it, sir. Let us have unilateral here, sir. If See, you're asking your for the resignation, is ask yourself, was this did you ask for resignation of KC Shorappa when you were in BJP? Why did, yes or no, sir. Well, why did, why so was this money removed from that? Well, let us uh, keep our as, Arun, as B.S. Arun is mentioning K.S. Ishwara 